Ms. Jack here, and today we're going to be talking about the law of conservation of mass. Now, what is that anyway? Well, the law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed. So, in a closed chemical reaction, whatever mass that we start with will be the mass that we end with. So, the reactant's mass will equal the product's mass. So, let's do a little experiment and test it out. So, here I have a scale. So we're going to be measuring our vinegar so our vinegar our mass of our vinegar and erlenmeyer flask is 249 so our mass of the baking soda let me go ahead and zero that out so we don't want the mass of the cup right So now our cup is zeroed out. Okay, so our mass of our baking soda is about 16. So again, we have 246 plus 16. Our total reaction should equal about 162 grams. So let's see if that's what it is. So we have 260, and it's going down a bit. So why is that? And this is our evidence of a chemical reaction. Right, we saw it bubble up, so it created a gas. So that gas, right now, our lid is open. So that means, where is our gas going? Yeah, it is going out into the air, it's releasing. So we are actually a little bit short of our final mass. So let's try it again, but now we're gonna have a closed system. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add the vinegar and baking soda. So we're gonna add another cup of vinegar, which again is roughly 50 milliliters. This time, I'm going to add a balloon to close our system. So right now, we are at, okay, so we have 256.6. I'm gonna add the balloon. I'm also gonna tape it off just so we can seal it, seal it in case any gases wanna release. Okay, so let's check our mass now. We're at 274.7. So we wanna stay at that mass because that is our reactant's mass right now, right? Added together. So it should stay the same. Let's see. I'm just holding it to make sure our gases stay in our closed system. Two seventy three point two. All right. We may be releasing some gases, but now, as you can see, we're less than a gram off. So, with that being said, this closed system has about the same starting mass as we have ending mass. So that is the law of conservation of mass. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.